Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Avedon the Black Fortress. When we left off last time, we finished up pretty much exploring Goldcrag. It was kind of sad, really. We found that most of the villagers are very wary about an agent of Avedon being here because uh, it's seeming an awful lot like they generally get exploited by them. Which, you know, that's really a bummer. Um, I wonder if that's something I can report back to Redbeard when we're done with this. That, you know, other hands and such that have been out this way have been apparently demanding that they get goods for free and... Huh. It bugs me. Anyhow, we now have a quest to clear out this cave. So we're gonna go back in here, even though the stuff was kind of tough. And we're gonna see if we can manage it now. So, let's get our wolves ready. And you as well. Now then. So, go nice and slow. And apologies if I sound like scratchy or anything. Um, I've got some kind of throat disease, like strep throat or something. I don't know for sure yet. There's white spots on my tonsils. I'll have to go to a doctor tomorrow. Okay, can't see it from there. So, over here. There we go. Also needs to move, and... Alright, so this is one of those really big rats. But, um, oh, oh, we got it though. Okay. Other wolf? Mmm, maybe? Well, just go here. And you... As close as you can. Okay, yeah, because they're gonna come right at us, so we'll try to hang back a little bit and draw them to us as much as we can. Well, there. Alright, you get in there, Sablin. Oh, what, is he encumbered to the point that he can't even swing his sword? That's a bummer. Oh, he can still swing. Okay. Alright, whose turn is it? Let's... Oh. Revive as in heal it. Should have done that before it died. Well... You know. Oh no, I okay, pay attention, look at Let's see if we can get yeah. No, five turns. Okay, I bungled that. Let's head over this way, because there's an enemy that way. Oh, it's on us. Okay, we can do this. It'll be okay. here before. We'll probably be okay if we leave it alone. Um, we could follow up on this side. Okay. Nothing get me. Ah, and there is something over there. A rot rat. Yeah, I'm feeling not too confident about all those misses. Stay there. Well, that's not what I meant to do. There. Okay, we're alright. We're alright. Soft leather cloak. Ooh, plus one dex. That's nice. I didn't really mean for Janelle to have it, but she can always pass it over. Armor six, one to dex. I want to see your inventory. Okay, fine. Nothing. Okay, so yeah, yours is just armor of five. I think that I should give this to Sevelin, since I want him to be the one taking most of the hits. Okay, let's look at your stuff now. There we go. 
excellent. Um, that can go actually over here and I will sell it. All right, that should be good, I think. I don't think there's anything in... Oh, well, I'm wrong. Well. Okay, let's cautiously make our way over here. No adventurer should ever be without a nice, freshly laundered pair of pants. Exactly as I'm wearing. And just a standard- wait. I'm wearing the student's shirt. This is just a standard leather jerkin, right? Coins are good. Weapons, we could probably- No. There isn't a worth on it. I don't want these. Get out of here. Oh, these aren't showing worth either. Alright, anyhow. still feeling quite nervous in here. I'm, I'm worried that suddenly a pack of rats is going to show up and overwhelm me. But I could probably summon a wolf now too, huh? Let's try it. There we go. And this time we will attempt to keep them alive. Okay, yeah, there's more up here. There they are. Okay, we'll approach very slowly so that we... I just want them to figure out we're here and then we'll hang back and there we go. Let them come to us bit by bit. Oop, I didn't mean to get that close. Alright. Alright, and then wolves. All right, this is the one we're going to focus on first. There we go. Uh, I suppose this next will do. I could have got that one. Oh, whatever, I bungled it. Nice hit, Sev. All right. That went okay. Are there more is the question. We're good at the moment. Steel bracers. Hmm. Okay, well... He's gonna want those eventually, right? Okay, let's do this properly. Come here. Enjoy. Alright, we'll keep around the outer edges first, and then we'll go in and clear out any middle spots that we've missed. I don't know, it looks almost like... Is this wall, or is this... No, it's going somewhere else. Where... Where are my wolves? Are they unsummoned? Okay, yeah, that one's not ready yet. Fine. Wonderful. Oh, boy. Okay, um... Well, let's actually focus on this one that's closer. Alright. You go get that one, and I'm not feeling too good about this. That's bad. Alright, let's, um... Who, though? Alright, 
There's only two more. We, if we can just get through two more rats. Alright. Ugly, but we made it. Wolf, not you. I need someone you can heal. And she probably can't yet. Yeah, we got seven turns to wait. Okay. We have some mushrooms. Or, okay, let's end combat. So, Evelyn, I want to see what you got. You got some mushrooms. So, how do I... Click on ground area to drop. Click on character to equip. There we go. Alright. All I care about is health is good. Oh, everybody's fine now. Blood on these mushrooms over here. And here I am sitting. Oh, he's got mushrooms. No, these are the mushrooms all over the ground if I pay better attention. Alright, we'll be alright. I think. Probably, yeah, there's no clicking into the water. But we are making progress around the outer rim of this place, so I think we're going to be able to clear it out. Unless there's something truly horrible lurking in the depths somewhere. Okay. a little bit over here. Alright. We're good so far. Back over here. care about any of this stuff. Value safety. Oh wait, the six is the charges, the two is the amount that I have of them. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong numbers here. I don't know what I'm thinking. Anyhow, that has value, so we'll keep it. Sell it. Alright, we're to the last little bit. Everything else I think we've been through. It's looking good on the mat. This part's going to be a little nerve-wracking. Uh, let's get a save in here, because it's going pretty well. Oh, and it was nothing. Alright, we're, we're good then, right? Pretty sure we cleared this place out. Okay, series of caves. Wait, a series of caves. So does that mean there's more than just this one place? That was the little gray spot on my map. Um, no map is looking good. Maybe there's another cave that I didn't find yet. Or maybe this was it and I just need to go talk to him and tell him we cleared it out. Hmm. Because if we go over here, it's it's leaving the region, so I th think we got it. Let's go talk to Oaken. And he's... He was like way up here, wasn't he?
I should probably watch my characters running here. There might be something important we pass. Eh, let's talk to him. Alright, so... I cleared out the rats. Okay, awesome, yeah. Ooh, you tell old Elder Oaken the tale. He nods and sends a boy into his home to fetch a pouch. Oaken gives the pouch to you. It is, unsurprisingly, fairly light. We thank you. If they were not killed, they would spread to our silos, then our homes. You have our thanks and what little money we have. Anything else you need? He nods. We said, we do, but we've not saved up enough money. Come back later. We will scrape together what we can for you. Well, what is it you need? I, you know, I might give you a discount or something. All right, we'll check back later. The experience was nice. Janelle got a level. All right then. What do we want to focus on next? Okay, I do want to investigate Tarnum. And take out these red wolves. Alright, and they are on the road between Gold Crag and Zathrin, so we could just go do that. Ooh, but I need to also f investigate the area around the Lost Caravan. South of the gate to Zathrin Zeri. So. And his area is. What, this way? Alright, go over here. Go to this sign, that'll say. Alright, sign. What are all my options? West to the area. Yep, that's what I want to do. Alright, start walk start to walk down the long road to the lair of Zathrin. It is one of the pack's free roads, so your journey should be fast and safe. All you need to do is follow the signs. So continue to the west through this area. You'll see the world map and select the next area. Okay. Um, yes. Okay, there's the Wretchlands, but they're not an option. We can go to the Kvalands. And yes, that is where we're gonna go. Alright. Ooh, what's this? This looks like someone's camp. Interesting. So, where's whoever camps? One of the most important tasks of the Pact is, ma is to maintain the free roads, a network of stone roadways that spans Linnaeus. All people of the Pact are able to travel on the free roads without tolls or hindrance. No tolls, that's nice. Thus, using one of the free roads, you are able to reach the valley below Zethrin's area quickly and without difficulty. However, your easy journey seems to be about to end. The road here is crumbling and poorly maintained. There are wolf tracks plainly visible in the dirt all around you, and there is an eerie quiet in the air. It is a sense of danger and unease hands quickly learn to pay attention to if they want to survive. To the northwest, you can see the massive pillars of Zathrinzeri rising above the cactus thickets. Even if you get there, you will still have to face the dragon. Yeah, but we're not going to have to fight him, we just got to talk to him, he's an ally, so... Okay, that'll be fine. Although I imagine he's going to be upset if... Avedon's supposed to maintain all the roads, and they didn't bother to maintain the road to his area. Janelle looks down at the free road. Surprisingly, she's frowning. The free roads, so they are called. They make my people less free, not more. Um, how so? What do you mean? The tribes of the Wildrum have traditionally charged a toll to those who cross our lands. It is a right of ownership, almost sacred. The pack took that from us, made our lands not our own. There is little free about it. Sutherlin is not impressed. We had to compromise our ways, too. Change the stone code to match the laws of the pact, but what we gain is more than what we lose. Janelle responds, I am sorry we, not, we are not as happy about losing the old ways as you are. I came to hope to Avedon in the hope that... She shakes her head. Never mind. It is hot. Let us travel towards shade. So she came to Avedon in the hope that things could change, but... I'm, I don't know, I'm not feeling you that you don't get to charge a toll of people to pass the roads. Yes, I understand that tolls can help maintain the roads, but there's other ways you can do it. Um, 
I don't know that I don't think we have toll roads in Michigan. I never come up against a toll road. And I suppose in maybe some ways it wouldn't be a bad idea because we do have we do have nasty weather. Four four seasons will do a number on your roads. All the freezing and the thawing and all the water we have in the state. Our our roads do pretty much for the most part kind of suck. There are lots of potholes and such. And perhaps if there was a toll, then we could afford more. I don't know. I, I I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot that goes towards road maintenance anyhow, just out of income tax and sales tax and all that, you know? I don't know exactly. I, I'm not, I don't pay that much attention to the budget. I don't know how our money's spent, but I do see construction crews out all the time trying to fix the roads. So, I don't know. We're making do without toll roads. The Wild Rome can handle it, too. It just seems to be, I don't know. I, th I think Savlin's got a point. Yeah, we all made some compromises so that we could work together, and what we all gain from that is more important than these little things that we're losing. I think he's right. Yes, I'm going to go pick up that hat in just a second. Oh, but there's a hat here, too. But it doesn't have a value. So we're going to leave it alone. What about this hat? Or is it the same? The same. Janelle has one of these, right? And she doesn't even have a hat. Well, here you go. Enjoy. Hmm. This looks like an area where we would run into something to fight, you know? Like, we got all these carrion piles and whatever. But, no, oh, we're good, huh? Okay, cool. Oh, oh, are these the red wolves? No, it just says wolf. There are very particular wolves we are after. Okay, we'll just get as close as you can. That's a red one. Okay, yeah, we gotta get closer, guys. Wolf battle. That one's red as well. Good deal. And then some standard ones that we should be able to take out pretty quick, I would think. Okay, so we killed, what, two red fur ones? I gotta actually keep track of this, it's kind of important. What's back here? Oh, let's um, end combat, that would help things. All kinds of goodies. Well, excellent. Now then, what else we got? Any more red wolves hanging around? What's this basket just doing hanging out here? Just a basket. Hmm. Okay, well we'll keep at the edges. We'll work our way around this whole area. Why not? See what we can find out here. Aha! There's the red for one. Alright, we'll take out the little guy first. Now then, your turn. Oh, and there were a bunch more hiding, huh? Okay, we got two red furs. Oh, and no wolves. Let's, uh... Yeah. Ooh, he almost took it out in one hit. That wasn't bad at all. Alright, what do we want to do here? I'm a little concerned. Uh... Let's kill the really easy ones. 
Let's have you finish off that one. And go help Sav or help the ladies here. Then get you idiot, you just wasted your turn. Okay. No? Okay. Really? I bungled that one too. Oh, good grief. Okay, just attack this one because then you can actually reach it and accomplish something. There. Okay, so that was what? Two more of them? We're up to four? Uh, no. Where's this go, though? Just back to the main net. Maybe it's a, a handy escape if I needed to run away if things were killing me. Hmm, let's see. this bridge. This looks interesting. Oh, red fur wolf up here, right? So we got a quest marker pointing that way. This pathway is lined with totems, marking this crevice as claimed by wretches. All of the skulls on the totems, you note, are, are either from other wretches or made of clay. Wretches are not mighty creatures in battle. Of course, that doesn't stop them from trying. The moment you set foot on their path, you hear a shrill scream. A wretch guard in the distance has spotted you and released several mangy wolves to attack you. He chases after them, clearly having no idea who you are. This shouldn't be difficult. Alright, hey, if you're attacking me, then down you go. Even if it shouldn't be difficult, uh... Oh, shoot. Well, only one more turn and then we're there. Fine. We'll get your wretched wolf. There we go. Sav, you just wait right there. Hey! Are you a little punk? Okay, fine, you asked for it now. Ugh, don't have a... Well, shoot. Fine. We can do this ourselves. Actually, I want the ladies to focus on him, because they're ranged. Th can you? There. And Sav, you get the wolf. Hunter Kvarl. Wait, he has a name. Can I talk to him? I would like to talk to you. Is there a way to talk to you instead of kill you? <sighs> Wolf Rider Paws. I want to talk to them. Shoot. If I go the other way, can we stop fighting? You have names and it makes me feel like maybe there's more that we could do. Okay, let's run away. No, okay, he's determined. We're gonna have to kill him. It didn't have to be that way. I have pity for you guys, stuck living in the wretch lands where everything sucks. If we could talk things out... But an enemy is visible. What, who now? This guy way back there? He didn't. Wait, where did he go? Oh, there's. Oh, just standard wolf. Whatever. Let's go get it. And now another one. Uh, 
Oh, more and more and more. These wolves just don't stop. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, no vitality. Fine. We're kind of doing all right. We'll be all, we'll be fine. These two are tougher, but I think it'll be okay. Sev, stand like right there. Yeah, we got this. Alright. Can we be done with combat for a little bit? That'd be nice. There we go. Everyone's healing a little bit. Excellent. Much better. So, wretch camp. I want to go in there and talk with them, not go in there and fight them all. Let's... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I want to try going closer and see if we have an option to talk with anybody or if it's just by default going to be a battle. If it's going to be a battle, then I think I'm going to go away for now in the hopes that perhaps maybe if I find the right person and talk to the right person, then it can turn into a discussion. Yeah, he's talking right now. Go away. I want to talk to you, though. There is a wretch warrior standing at this crude palisade, bravely placing himself between you and their pathetic little village. That's so mean! Their pathetic little village. He wears a necklace heavy with wolf fangs around his neck. He points his blade at you. Stop there, human. I'm Wolf Rider Praz. This our land. You no take. We no want fight. You go. Okay, I mean, I don't want to fight either. But we gotta work something out here. So, you claim this land, huh? We come. It dry. It empty. Nobody here. We take. Ours now. We no go. I mean, that seems pretty fair. It's not like anybody else is using it for anything. Alright, I want to know something. No talk. We wretch, you human. I stay, you go. Well, can't we... Maybe we could be the ones that change that. Maybe we could be the ones to make inroads into communication, huh? We could talk. I don't want to fight you. Alright, I'll go. Proz takes a step back, but he doesn't sheath his weapon. You stay out. You step in our gates, we fight. Ah, wretches. They're weak and generally foolish, but you have to admire their courage. And they don't know how to bluff. I... We don't need to be so condescending about these poor guys. They came in where nobody else was, out here in the desert. No one... It's... Uh, the pact isn't using it for anything. Just let them live in the desert. What's the problem? Okay, if we step in, I think it's going to be an auto battle. And I... I don't want to go in and ruin their settlement, you know? Praz's pet. Yeah, I want to explore. Okay, we're gonna save right here. Because I do want to go in and explore, but if it triggers a battle, then I don't want to do it. Yep, yeah, it does. Okay. Well, I don't want to do that. That would make me feel bad. So, we'll leave them alone. And hopefully we'll be able to do something else with them. Alright. A vile smell assaults your nose, rotting, and other odors even more vile. It is not the reek of a dungeon. Worse, it's the smell of a tannery. You can guess why it's out here. Tanneries are commonly forced to locate themselves far from human settlements. As you walk up the path, you see that the door to the central building is cracked open. Then it closes. Someone was watching you. Well, let's go see who. Oh, look at all these nicely... Well, I can't... I have to be... Forgiving and open-minded. I see these and I think, No, they were taken from beautiful big cats. Don't skin them. Oh. But, you know, maybe maybe such beautiful big cats are in abundance and a threat in this world. And not necessarily, you know, endangered as they tend to be in our world. So, I will reserve judgment. Alright, so we're going to go in the building, but first, let's go around the other side. Okay. Oh, what's this say? The sign says tannery. Oh, all right then. Got it. So, it's really close to the little wretch encampment, huh? I wonder how the tanner feels about that. So, obviously we've got some tunics and stuff here. But not as good as what we've got. 
And I'm worried if I try to pick it up, then I'll just get the, this isn't yours message. It's, it's scissors. welcome traveler. All right, Tartum. Oh, uh -huh. oh, he's out here and he's arming the wretches and they just want a place to live. This is going to get complex, isn't it? All right. You are now inside the tannery, tannery, where the skins are trimmed and processed. At least it looks like a tannery. The vats are empty, and the furs and skins on display are dusty. It's a front. The reek that assaulted you outside is still present, but faint. The building is strangely cool and pleasant. There is a lone man here in a leather jerkin. He wears a long, thin blade at his side. Welcome, traveler, he says. I am Tartum. I welcome you. Have you come here to purchase fine leather goods? Because, if so, I can aid you. He has a faint smile on his face, as if something is amusing him. You aren't sure what. What, does he think he's, like, getting one over on me here? I'm a hand of Avedon, and I need to question you. Um, no, let's try to maybe gain his trust a bit and see if we can get him to open up. So you're Tanner here, eh? He nods. Oh, yes, I just kept moving away from Goldcrag until they stopped telling me to keep moving. Then I built my tannery here. So who buys your wares? Why, you, hopefully. And merchants supplying the dragon's cave sometimes. It's quiet here, except for the wolves, of course. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're really doing much inside. Well, there aren't many traders out here, are there? He smiles. Mm-hmm. Okay. Tartum says, is there any other way I can help you? He still has a faint, cocksure smile. His hand rests on the pommel of his blade. You notice that his hands lack the stains and burns you would expect to see on a tanner. Odd. Okay, so who's the one that's putting out... Okay, obviously the tannery's accomplishing something. We've got the pungent smell outside. So who's the one actually working this place? Do the wretches tan skins? Are the wretches, like, manning that part of it, and he keeps up the facade in here? All right, I'd like to know something about the area. Why, I would be happy to help. I don't walk outside much. Too warm. But if there's something you're looking for, you can ask. All right, there are a lot of wolves on the road. There are indeed. Makes me wish something would be done about it. Yes, indeed. His tranquil smile is starting to bother you. <laughs> Uh, tell me about the dragon's lair. I can't. I've never been inside. All right, well, a caravan was robbed near here, trying to find the stolen goods. Really? How noble of you. I think I can help. There's an opening in the cliff face to the north. A lot of garbage there. I've seen an ogre and some wretches going in and out of there. It is odd. Odd why, and I have a feeling you're setting me up. Because that passage ends in a dead end. If I didn't mind the risk, I would investigate. There may be a secret passage, though you would have to look very closely to find it. What are you getting? What game are you playing here, buddy? I think you're telling me that there certainly is a secret passage. You don't want to own up to having this knowledge, but you want me in there for some reason. Why? Right? Can I see your wares? His prices are exorbitant. I'm not buying anything. Mm. I almost want it, but I think I might resist the temptation to ask him this right now. We'll probably ask him eventually, but just in case, I want to check out this cave and just try to play things that way and see if there's some way we can circumvent going right out and I'm the Hand of Avedon. Maybe we can kind of catch him in a lie. We're going to try that. Locked box. What about over here? All this stuff. It's not yours. Oh, I can pick it up. Didn't think I could. Oh, but I can't get the, the skin. Very well. Are these robes any better than my robes? Okay, what am I doing here? It's kind of spazzing out a little bit. Get out of here. Oh, wait, what do we got in here? Nah. What about this room? I'm not gonna steal his bread and roll. I don't consider taking the stuff I can take. Stealing or looting, really, you know, it's... It's a game mechanic. You can pick up pretty much anything you can find, right? But taking the bread doesn't seem... Well, I don't know, does it heal? Maybe it's a good thing to have, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, that's a garbage pal, huh? 
All right. Tartum, I don't trust you for a second, buddy, but we're going to try and we're going to try and be sneaky and catch you that way. Also, I have to decide how much against him I am cuz I do feel kind of bad for these wretches and their settlement. Need a damp limb. Pass on that one. All right, man. Garbage all over the. Oh, this must be the the caravan. Okay, I want those bandages. I don't need all the broken stuff. So, he says, follow all the garbage to the north, and we will find a path into the cliff face. Which sounds interesting. Apparently this is not it. Very well. More north. And then someone was camping over here. You hear howling from the path behind you. Alright, where are they? Let's get them. Eh, they'll show. The road rises steeply to the northwest. It is lined to either side with massive pointed spires of stone. Granite fangs, crudely shaped with magic and brute force. The path to Zethrin's area is meant to inspire awe. And yet, it has not kept the wretches away. You can hear their cackling laughter ahead. There are many of the aggravating creatures loitering before the dragon's lair. You wonder why the guards are tolerating that. Or the dragon, for that matter. Can't he just stick his head out and toast them all? As you advance, a figure steps out from behind one of the stone fangs. A shadow walker from his garb. His face is completely obscured. He is armed, but his long curved blade stays sheathed at his side. He walks toward you. Alright, let's talk to him. Um, where are you, buddy? Oh, here he comes. The hooded man stands in the middle of the road, blocking your path. He doesn't draw his weapon, though. He inspects you carefully. Yes, you are Lavinia. It is my purpose to know such things. I've been waiting for you. I need to speak with you. It will only take a moment of your time. Yeah, all right. I'm 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 totally up for that. First, though, are you from Avedon? No, though I deal with hands and eyes frequently. To some of them, I'm a welcome visitor. As I hope I will be for you. Alrighty, let's talk about it. Of course, I will be brief. I have a unique opportunity for you. What do you mean? He nods. I would introduce myself, but I would prefer to keep my name private for now. For now, just think of me as the Wayfarer. Oh yeah, because that's not shady at all. I often contact Hands and Eyes of Abaddon and offer them work. Easy task, great pay. The sort of thing only servants of Abaddon can do. That only servants of Abaddon are allowed to do. What do you mean? S what can only servants of Abaddon do? Whatever they want. It is the little secret of Abaddon. The secret everyone knows. You are rewarded with the ability to use your influence for great reward. Now it is time for you to claim your reward. And this is permitted, huh? Of course, all is permitted to hands of Abaddon, as long as Rudbeard approves, or never hears of it. You are the reason there's so much corruption that Goldcrag has had to deal with from Abaddon, and it's undermined their trust in Abaddon, and only bolstered any bad feeling and hatred they have towards Abaddon. Why do you think there's such demand to work in a place that requires so much work and so much risk? It is the authority, the freedom, the power, and from that, the wealth. Uh-uh. So, what do you want me to do? It is simple. Recently, a Hulk landed named Riozo came to Zathrinzeri. He wants something from the dragon. I need to find out what that is. Enter the caves, obtain this information, and deliver it to me. Why would I do that? Why can't you find this out? Because the dragon keeps all dealings between him and his supplicant secret. Thus, I require someone with influence. One who can wander the dragon's caves and investigate with discretion. No, that's scummy, and if the dragon found out I did that, then I th that could possibly threaten his willingness to be an ally of Avedon. Why do you want to know this? You can't see the Wayfarer's expression, but he sounds amused. I'm sure you realize that such things are closely guarded secrets. It's a small piece of information. You will be paid well. That's all you need to know. Well, here's all you need to know. I'm not doing it. He nods. Fair enough. I will simply give this profitable task to one of your fellow hands. I will go and let you spend more time risking your life for minimal pay. Then I will contact you again. Perhaps you will feel differently then. 
Uh, no, perhaps if I get your name, I'm taking you down, buddy. Before you can give a stinging retort, the wayfarer leaves. He walks down the road to the east. I kind of want to follow him. Yeah, where do you think you're going? Oh, if I can take this guy down, I will. Ah! Savlin, and now is not the time. Savlin looks up the hill toward the dragon's lair to the northwest. He shakes his head. Dragons. They live in our land, eat our food, and yet they are not required to follow the stone code. It is bothersome. Janelle sighs. The stone code again? Here we go. Janelle, that's really rude. You could try to be a little bit culturally sensitive. Savlin looks at her. I know it is bothersome for you to be in a land with laws. Not constant chaos, like in the Wild Realm. Happily, she ignores his response. Okay, <laughs> do we have to discuss this now? I, okay, I kind of get where you're coming from a little bit, Sev. They do live in your land, so that's a, a point. But I also feel, I don't know. Let's examine this. I feel for some, my natural inclination is, but dragons don't have to be beholden to human laws. But why not, if they're living in this land? I suppose it depends on who was there first. Were the dragons in this land and then humanity came? Or was humanity here first and then the dragon came? Whoever was in this area first should be the one who gets to decide the laws. And if, I don't know, if everyone else in the fa follows the stone cold, then why should the dragons get to be exempt? Why shouldn't they have to adapt to the laws of whatever country they choose to live in? Yeah, that makes more sense. I think, you know, any person, like, in the real world, if you decide to go live in another country, you don't get to say, well, I'm not from here originally, so I get to follow my country's laws or whatever, or I don't have to follow this law. No, you have to, you have to follow the law of wherever you're going. So, yeah, it shouldn't be any different for dragons. If they live in your land, so they should follow your laws, you're right. Sevelyn laughs. I agree, but I would like to see someone tell that to the dragons. Janelle smiles. On that, we agree. It would be an amusing sight. Alright. There's an abandoned farmhouse at the side of the road. It's quiet and empty, and the walls are crumbling. There's an odd chill in the air here, making you shiver despite the desert heat. There are no tracks on the ground. Not even of wolves. Odd. Yeah, it's something to do with that shadow walker, isn't it? He went over here. Are we gonna go in here? Impossible. Ooh! Get killed? Yes, we are. So, abandoned, it says. I think it's a lot less abandoned than it appears. Oh, there are some wolves over here, and we're not quite done with what, but I want to see what's in this. Let's... I gotta, I gotta figure out the quick save button so I can do this faster. Yeah. Let's get in. What have we got going on here? Bunch of raggedy stuff I don't want. Fireplace. Okay, let's try this door. No can do. That's probably where I really need to go to. Ooh. Alright, well that was something. That was nice. So we could go in here. And I want to go in there. But maybe if we go in the cave behind here, then it goes to the same place, perhaps? Let's see what's going on. Let's also... What? There. No, can't use it for 18 turns. Don't have enough vitality. Ugh, Janelle, your vitality. It's a problem. The cellar of the abandoned farmhouse is littered with bones. Some animals, some wretch. It's icy cold down here. You feel like you're being watched. Bones, cold, paranoia. During your extensive training, these were clearly listed as the three main symptoms of monstrous infestation. Oh boy. So, there's something nasty going on down here. This might not be, after all, where that shady guy ran off to. This might be something totally different. He was just going past it. Well, we're going to learn. I 
wonder what kind of monster's lurking down here. You hear a sound behind you. Bones scraping across stone. The skeleton- oh boy. The skeletons behind you rapidly begin to reassemble themselves. You kick a few of them apart before they can complete themselves, but you can't stop all of them in time. This is in this is convenient. The infestation here is going to come to you, making it much more convenient for you to purge it. Yeah, let's let's stay positive about it. Good deal. Okay, let's finish also- oh, I wanted to explore some. Alright. Let's go fight these wretch bones. They're going down nicely. That's some oh boy, but they're creeping up on the side here too. Ooh. All right, come help me, team. There's actually a lot of them over here. What did they kill my wolf? That's a bummer. Not quite dead, huh? Alright. A cursed skeleton. He's bigger than the others. Ooh, that's nice. Good job, Sev. Oh, that's terrible. <gasps> okay. Um, and then you really need to help out your self and you must be active. Oh, who's oh, it's Sevelyn. Sevelyn, you gotta just take him down. Um, there. <gasps> yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, boy. This is not good. Oh, this is not good at all. Team, we're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. Um, that will help minimally. And he doesn't have healing items on him. Uh-oh! Okay. Well, what can we do for you quickly, Sev? We can't level you up right now, can we? Um, oh, we can. Okay, okay. So he needs strength. And... Increased resistance to magical damage? Maybe. Heals damage and regenerate. Okay, and we've got another point even. Maybe make it even better. Okay, and then that's better. Don't do anything crazy now, skeleton. Ooh! Okay! That was something else. That was... Oh, thought we were done for. But we managed it! Hooray! Okay. Is there anything exciting on this table after all of that, or no? Not really. Oh, yes, really. We can even open that door now. Okay. And that was all the bad stuff that was in here, right? We're good? We're good? Whew. Okay. We did it. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time, we're going to go upstairs. We're going to open that door. It's going to take all of our lockpicks, but I think we should do it. I want to see what's in there. And then we'll continue exploring. I do want to figure out where that guy went off to. I don't trust him at all. I want to track him down. I want to bring him to justice because he's doing shady things, but well, he did say he'd find us again, though, so that might be an option, too. We'll see.